Today we are discussing the ISDN subscriber access means how the subscriber can access the ISDN and then we will discuss the channel types means what are the types of channel and we will discuss the how many user interfaces are there just like BRI and PRI are the user interfaces and the channels we are having like B channel, D channel and H channel. So first we are starting with the channel types that there are three channel types in ISDN. So if we talk about the type of channel means which type of cable we are using into the ISDN then there are three types which are B channel, D channel and H channel. So first of all we are discussing the B channel which is called the bearer channel. So the first of all we are having the bearer channel it is also called the data channel because here we are passing the data there is a channel or the wire through which we pass the data that is called the bearer or the b channel now it carry digital data digital voice and other information so here we are basically passing the digital data now second thing is that the speed of transmission is up to 64 kbps so this one is the bearer channel or the B channel. Now the second type of channel which we are having is the D channel or called the data channel. So talking about the D channel or the data channel, here we pass the signaling. These channels are contrary to their names because you have seen that bearer channel. In the bearer channel, we are passing digitized voice, information and the data. So there the data is passing through the B channel or the bearer channel. Now D channel or the data channel is not passing the data, it is passing the control signals. That's why the signal is, is mentioned. So here it carry control signals. Now what are these control signals? Well all those signals which are helping in call establishment, ringing, call interrupt, synchronization or all these things. So these are comes under the control signals. Talking about the transmission rate so the transfer rate here is 16 or 64 kbps so this one is the d channel where we are passing the control signals control signals are controlling the whole communication now we are having the third type of channel which is the h channel or the hybrid channel well, as the name signify hybrid, so it is the mixture of multiple things. So that's why it is having the high data rate application, just like the video or teleconferencing. So for that purpose, the hybrid channel is used. So if you want to communicate on real time basis, then obviously we need the hybrid channel or the H channel because that need very high data rate requirement. And it is followed by this H channel. If I talk about the data rate, then there are many because there is a H0 channel which contain 384 kbps, H11 which contain 1536 kbps or it is having the H12 channel which is having the 1920 kbps. So there we are having the three channels. One is the B channel called bearer channel where we pass the data just like digital voice information and the speed is 64 kbps. Then second we are having D channel or call data channel where we pass the control signals just like for the call establishment, ringing, call interrupt, synchronization and the data transfer speed is 16 or 64 kbps. Then we are having a mixture of channel which is the hybrid channel called H channel which is for the real time applications like video and teleconferences and there the data rate is many variable data rates are there. So these are the three types of channels under the ISDN subscriber access.